We continue with ITM8 and allegations of mismanagement at a historic site in southern Indiana. The canal in Metamora has been a tourist attraction for decades now. The canal boat is one of the main attractions there, and it's sitting in a parking lot in desperate need of repair. ITM8 Richard, es Richard Essex is told by people in the town that the state should have stepped in earlier. Two years ago, the canal boat in Metamora stopped operating because of restrictions from the pandemic. Last week, the boat was taken out of the water for inspection and repairs. The boat is now sitting in the parking lot, broken. It's what we were built on, and to take that out is just almost cutting our heart out in a lot of ways. On a rainy Monday morning, a giant crane lifted the Ben Franklin III out of the canal. This is the first time the 33-year-old boat has been inspected in three years. The Indiana State Museum told me the boat gained 14,000 pounds in water weight through cracks in the fiberglass hull. That's where you climbed on for the ride and the horse. Steve Collier is a longtime resident of Metamore and a staunch advocate for the history of the town. Earlier this week, he took me to see the canal boat sitting in a parking lot. The boat is not in great shape. There are cracks in the fiberglass, peeling paint, boards, moss growing in places where it shouldn't. In one week since it was taken out of the water, the bow has separated from the rest of the boat. Collier says the condition of the boat is just the tip of the issues in Metamora. There weren't too many problems until BNR took over, until I, Indiana State Museum took over. Metamora's canal, canal boat, and gristmill are managed by the Indiana State Museum. Collier says that when ISM took over a couple years ago is when the trouble started. I think they're trying to, I think they're headed toward dumping Metamora. A letter from the Indiana State Museum sent to me outlines the cost of repairs in Metamora at $7.6 million. $1 million to repair or replace the boat. $4 million to repair the aqueduct. $1.4 million to fix a canal lock. And $1.2 million to replace the water wheel and make additional repairs around the mill. Eric Todd of the State Museum says they are looking for ways to fund the repairs. We are looking at funding options right now. Uh, we're in conversation with potential funders, but uh, the first step was uh, to work with, um, you know, an engineering firm that, uh, you know, had expertise in historic preservation to do a comprehensive study to see what the work needed to be, to see what work needed to be done. The canal boat is pulled about a quarter mile down the canal by horses. And the last summer the boat was in use, 3,800 people took that ride, which is down from 5,200 the summer before. According to the State Museum, the fees to ride the boat do not cover expenses. Metamore is a tourist town. Earlier this week, most of the shops were closed. The tourist season starts when the weather improves, around the 1st of May. Spend a lot of time in here these days. Collier and his wife have been busy in their shop building items to sell when the town opens up. One of their neighbors, Cat Campbell, is worried the best days along the canal may be over. But as far as the things that we have to offer and the historic things that are going on in this town, the canal boat is probably the most important thing because that's what the town was built on. In May is the start of the tourist season in Metamora, and this will be the third summer without the canal boat. And people who live here hope it's the last summer. In Metamora, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.